Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, do the WLC discovery in DNAC and how to do that provisioning of WLC into a site. So we already covered uh, how to do the uh, network hierarchy uh, in the design phase, how to do the network hierarchy, how to do the basic network settings, creation of SSIDs and all. So this time we will try to uh, discover the WLC then how to uh, add that into a site, the provision of that WLC. Let's get uh, started. So first thing, uh, we have to discover that uh, WLC through discovery tools. So uh, all the tools can be found here. So this discovery can be done from by clicking this particular link. Then here you can put uh, fabric WLC. I'll just put that as a fabric WLC. Then we will be using IP range because this particular WLC will not be sitting inside the fabric. It will be outside the fabric. It will work as a fabric enabled WLC, but it, there is no mandatory requirement that this WLC will, should be sitting inside the fabric. So it can be uh, some other location also. For, um, for searching the WLC or discovering the WLC, we have to give the IP address. And um, in we will use the IP range. Then we will set the... IP address here as IP range we will give the same IP then we will click on um, start so before uh, clicking on start or discovery uh, before discovery is getting started you have to make sure your credentials are already applied here so we covered that how to add the credentials in the other side other uh, video if you want to add it you can add it here also you can directly add it what you want to do so I'm not going to do this one so let's uh, start the um, discovery because we already have the proper credentials added for this uh, WLC. So uh, it will uh, show that it's uh, started. Then you can see that it's happening uh, in the background, a uh, discovery. So we will come back uh, once we found the WLC. So discovery is done. Uh, right now we got one hardware here. So that means uh, we can see the WLC. As you can see here is uh, fabric WLC is found. So uh, we will uh, continue from here. This particular WLC will be reflecting in under the inventory list now. So let's see uh, the inventory list. Again, it's under tools. This is the inventory uh, list uh, after the discovery. Now you can see that our WLC is reflecting here. Once you got the WLC under the inventory list, you can go to the uh, provision uh, of that WLC. So you can go to the provision. This is the provision page. Once you got the WLC uh, discovered by the DNAC, it will be reflecting in the provision page also. This is the provision page. And uh, now you can see that our WLC is uh, uh, reflecting in the uh, device inventory list. So I shown the device inventory list from the other, um, the main page. Also, you can see the device inventory inside the provision also. So you can use the provision tab to uh, do the provisioning of the WLC. The other one is uh, just displays as a inventory device list so now uh, along with the WLC you can see one of the AP also ca came here this is coming because um, this particular WLC already got a AP associated with that that's the reason you are getting uh, fabric uh, WLC and AP here so whenever you add the WLC you don't have to uh, discover the AP separately it will be automatically reflecting in your system uh, that is getting updated from fabric fabric WLC so now you can select this WLC, then click on provision. So before that, you can um, you can add this WLC to a WLC to a site. Physically, this particular WLC is located on this site. So let me choose my site here. Now I choose uh, my uh, building and floor number one as the physical location of that uh, device, and I click apply. So now um, this WLC is. Uh, saying that okay I am I'm, I'm sitting in this particular floor and now we have to provision this WLC so let's uh, select that particular WLC and click on provision so now it's again shows that it's located on this site then um, next you click on next the configuration part now we have to mention um, what are the AP locations we are going to support from this particular WLC so by default, uh, you will be seeing this uh, floor one because this particular WLC is located on floor one. So it will be reflected here. So if you want to add one more site into this uh, AP location, 
then you have to mention that site name here let me choose that site name uh, from the list now i choose uh, floor number two uh, means uh, this particular wlc i'm i'm telling that wlc that you have to serve these two ap locations of that building then um, click next so it can be um, it can be one same uh, same building multiple floors it can be different buildings different uh, floors that is completely up to your requirement then click. as you can see here uh, this particular wlc information this is also pulling the information about the ssids that is created under that uh, wireless profiles what we created in the earlier uh, videos so uh, this wlc will take all the ssids from the profile that is mapped to the floors that is getting managed by wlc and it will be showing here as uh, when we are provisioning the site so manage sites floor one so floor one is having a uh, respective uh, wireless group sorry wireless profile and you have um, another floor two with another profile uh, that we created so both the uh, profiles are selected here then uh, it will be uh, getting all the ssids then click on deploy then you can select when you want to deploy if you want to schedule it you can schedule it that will happen as per the schedule if you want to do the provisioning after office hours or something you can do that so if you are clicking on now it's going to happen now itself so once you click apply it will start validating the configuration then once that configuration is done you can now you can see that okay uh, this particular wlc is uh, provision status has success now this wlc is provision to the uh, site now adding ap to the site it's the same process i did that already for this particular ap so the same way you select a wlc the same way we will select the ap and we will click on assign site and you can see that this particular ap is already assigned to floor one so i already did that so that's a assignment of ap uh, means uh, we are saying this particular ap is located on that floor then we are going to uh, position the ap when uh, you are assigned to one site it will be automatically reflecting that here if you are uh, doing it in a reverse order it will be also showing in the background uh, it will show that uh, say floor one in this list then uh, you can click next then uh, rf profile we talked about rf profile in the other video i'll be covering in detail what is uh, how to do this rf profile customization so right now i'm going to leave this one as a typical rf profile the next one is uh, it will show that uh, ap detail summary then deploy so this is how and i'm clicking on now then apply so this is how you are going to uh, deploy the ap to a site but when you do this it's going to reboot because whenever you are assigning one ap into a floor that floor will have a specific ap group so that will be automatically created by the dnac uh, in the controller and that particular ap group will be changing in the background so that's why default group uh, ap will be participating in the default group and it will change the default uh, ap group from default group to that particular floor group name ap group name that's why the, you need a ap reboot if you click on ok this ap is going to reboot and come back with that ap group configuration okay so i'm clicking on uh, ok then you can see that that validation is happening then it's uh, successfully started for the site sorry the ap then um, you can see that after uh, because the ap will be rebooting and it will come back and it will join back the controller then it will start reflecting here so this is how you do the provisioning of the ap so i covered uh, provisioning of wlc discovering the wlc and uh, discovery is done then ap and uh, wlc was reflecting in the inventory list we configured uh, those ap's and uh, devices into uh, into the site we added those devices into the site and we provisioned those devices into the uh, uh, into the site so uh, this is how you add your hardware wlc and ap into the dnac and provision it so i'll cover how to handle that uh, rf profile and all in the different video so uh, this is for discovering and uh, provisioning the devices for wireless thank you for watching